Okay, mum, I've decided. When I grow up, I want to be Mark Boris. This guy founded his own company, he's hosted The Apprentice, and he's done everything with a debonair style that's ranged from suave to, to silver fox. And he also loves watches. But we're not here to talk about watches tonight. On behalf of LK Boutique and IWC, we're here to talk about time. The, the subject of today's discussion is time. And I'm curious because when you're young, you have an attitude towards time. And then I've noticed in my own life that that changes. You have children, you have near-death experiences, you have um, uh, reminders of your mortality. How has your attitude to time changed over the years? Mm, well, I probably would be fair to say um, when I was younger, um, time usage and the respect of time was more a function of what I had to get done at a certain point. So I would Get every, I would do everything within a short period of time in relation to some outcome I had to achieve because it was sort of mandatory. Mm. Today, um, I'm much more conscious of every minute of the day, literally every minute of the day. Mm. And um, my day now is mapped, my weekends are mapped, my weeks are mapped, months are mapped, years are mapped. If I'm left to my own devices, I would be dreaming and drifting all the time. So the way the business has evolved, my business environment has evolved, is it, it structures stuff for me and around me so that I don't drift. Mm. So the business is smarter than I am in that regard because it realises the way to get your best, the way you get the best out of me. And I don't think it was done purposefully, it's just, it's just evolved this way, is to keep Mark busy. Mm -hmm. and, and so therefore the business says to me, Mark, at this time you've got to be here and at that time you've got to be there and straight after that don't forget and then I've got a PA who will ring me literally every hour saying have you made that meeting you've got to stop that meeting you've got to go to this meeting <laughs> so uh, so she stops me from drifting so mm. there's a structure that sits behind me mm. that makes me efficient in terms of how I use time how do you help people discipline themselves with time because that's what it comes down to mm. using time effectively a lot of entrepreneurs have great ideas there's no doubt they usually have a bit of drive to even be in that position but there seems to be some chasm between point a and point b well, I'm very conscious of, um, I, I have become very conscious over the years about speed to market. So if you're an entrepreneur, don't think you're the only person who was going to have the same idea. Someone else will get the idea, maybe not at the same time, maybe a little bit after you. You may be the first, you won't be the only one. Mm. So there is an urgency in everything you do in business. You mu there must be an urgency. And the urgency is not about spreading your ideas over time or trying to use your time more efficiently, but you've got to operate in an urgent manner. So every second counts. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying, look, I've got two years to do it, say I'm going to, I have to do it now. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'd rather do it in two weeks, not two years. Yeah. Now that urgency, when, you bec when you're the proprietor, you've got to get everyone in your business to think urgently too. So, you know, there's nothing worse than having people in your business who don't think the same as you. Mm. I mean, you know, and you know from your business, you've got to be able to get everyone thinking on the same plane. Mm -hmm. So urgent, 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 a good idea, let's get it done. How do you bring people with you to that point of urgency? Because it means extra work, it means late hours, it means, you know, personal compromise. How, how do you get them to, to that level of, 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 of excitement about the idea and ownership of the idea? Well, the first thing is that I'm, I'm available for them at all, at all times. So if they want me to come in, I'll come in. So yep. I don't expect them to do anything I won't do. That's the first thing. Mm. Second thing is um, I'm not a, I don't believe in leading. I believe in finding people who want to follow. And what they want to follow is not me. They want to follow an idea. Mm. And it's the, you give them a good idea and a good, you know, a good objective, they'll follow the objective. And that's how, that's how they do it. That's how I get them to do it. Or they get themselves to do it, to be honest with you. I just provide the objective, the platform, and they're, and they get excited by that proposition and it becomes their creation, their innovation. It's their thing, they own it. Mm. Um, all I'm doing is laying down an objective. You're not really winding down with age, are you? No. Well, I, I don't really understand winding down, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> I don't want to because like, one day I'll be dead. I'll be completely wound down then. Um, mm. I'm not interested in winding down, no. Um, but I do have my wound down moments. I mean, like, a bit like this watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's got seven days life in it, I'm about the same. Um, and, uh, and if I, if I take the watch off, it'll, it'll remain dormant, it won't, it won't sort of function until I put the watch back on again. And I do that with myself. So I run myself down, uh, I run myself to, to not be, get to a point where I'm legless, I've got no energy left, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And it usually takes a week, six, seven days. 
and then um, what do you plug yourself back into to get the energy back um look i just need a day out like a day off mm. just not thinking about stuff and uh i don't know just sport um you know i like to go to the gym with mates see a couple of mates of mine go and have some breakfast maybe a couple of mates after the gym mm. um sunshine fresh air nature nature's a big important thing to me like seeing trees and water and mm. you know and grass and flowers and you know little, looking at little kids i love watching little kids um you know young children running around um you know just people mindless and having fun mm. that's that's usually enough for me and tell me is there a favorite time of your day where is, is there is that when you look at the clock and it's five in the morning do you think good i've got some time to myself or it's 10 30 at night yeah. and you think good i'm i'm i'm, I'm having a scotch my I'm probably not, not but my favorite time of the day is post gym when i go and get my breakfast when i go to a place in sydney where I, um, I can sit on my own, no, no one bothers me, I sit on my own, I've, got, there's a ta I've been going there for like nearly 20 years, same place. Um, they know what I like to eat, they know what coffee I like to drink, there's always a, a newspaper there where I pick up, I can go online and read my stuff. I sit there for 45 minutes, it's my time out. Mm -hmm. And I just muzz through the newspapers, um, might make some quippy remark to somebody in the restaurant or the cafe that I know. Um, eat my food and uh, maybe send them one or two messages. And, but that 45 minutes is very, very important, which is why I go to the same place all the time. Yeah, routine. Great, Mark, it's been a pleasure. Same, thank you. Excellent.